Hello friends, welcome to this YouTube tutorial video. The topic of today's discussion is refreshing data and pivot tables in Excel using Python. For today's session, this is the data set that I will be using. Uh, this is just a dummy data set. We have the names as A, B, uh, C, D, E and F. We have subject as English, Maths and Science and we have the score uh, obtained by these students uh, in name column in these particular uh, subjects. Now we also have the pivot table over here. Uh, so we have the students in the row labels and we have the subjects in the columns and uh, we have the values, uh, the score values as well. Now imagine a scenario wherein you want to add more data to this and you want the pivot table to be automatically refreshed. Say for example, uh, there was another uh, set of uh, tests on history and geography for this same set of students A, B, C, D, E and F. And this is the scores they obtained in history and geography. Now you want this data, the history and geography data to be pasted to this English Maths and Science data and the pivot table to be automatically refreshed. Now given the size of this data which is very small, uh, this can easily be done manually. I can simply copy the history and geography data from this particular excel sheet, paste it over here and refresh the pivot table. But in many real life scenarios, the amount of data that you have to deal with is much more. Uh, so much so that there can be many many pivot tables and it becomes very difficult to keep on refreshing all the data and all the pivot tables. There may be many different uh, sheets and many different pivot tables that are interlinked. So manually to do that much it becomes very difficult. So we need to do it automatically and hence uh, we can do it using Python and that is exactly what I will teach in this particular session. So using Python, we will attach the data of history and geography to this particular Excel sheet and we will also refresh this particular pivot table. So without further ado, I'll go, I'll shift to my uh, spider notebook. Before anything, I will close my Excel sheets. So close my Excel sheets. Uh, in order to save time, I have already pre-written the code and I will simply copy the code from over here and keep on explaining and running. So the first part of the code is just load, loading the data sets, loading the Excel documents that we just saw, marks 1 and marks 2 are the two Excel documents that we just saw and I will load them in Pandas data frames. So in data 1, I have the scores of English, Maths and Science. There are about 18 uh, records over here. And in data 2, I have the scores of History and Geography and there are 12 records over here. Now as a first step, what I will do is I will create one data set out of these two. So one data set that will contain the entire data, which is again to be pasted in the Excel document. So as a first step, I will append the data sets and again save it in data 1. Okay. So as you can see earlier in data 1 there were 18 records and now in data 1 there are 30 records. This is because apart from English Math Science we also now have the data of history and geography in data 1. Next is pasting this data set to our Excel document. So, quickly copy and paste this part of the code. Now, before actually refreshing my Excel sheet with new data, what I should probably do is delete the data that is already present. So if I open my Excel sheet again, yes, so as you can see, we already have some data. So that we have already have 18 records and we are going to add more records to this. So in this case, even if I did not delete this particular data and just added the extra data, it would still work. So if I copy the data, 
uh, the total data into into this particular excel sheet my number of records would increase to 30 and essentially this earlier data will be overwritten but many a times there can be manipulations that you do wherein the number of records might as a matter of fact decrease so instead of 18 uh, records you might end up with maybe say 10 records now in such cases if you paste the new data that will only be pasted up till row 10 or row 11 uh, in this case and uh, and the older data would still remain there and you may not want it so it is always a better uh, option to completely delete the older data first and paste it with the new updated data so that is exactly what i'll do i'll close my excel sheet again and this part of the code wherein i'm loading my uh, my excel data and the sheets that i'm focusing on is marks the name of the sheet is marks and starting from range a2 i'll be deleting all the data if i run this particular snippet so it has a run i will close this and if i go over to my excel document now So as you can see, there is no uh, data over here. So starting from range A2 and the name of the sheet is marks. So if I go over here, the name of the sheet is marks and starting from range A2, I have deleted everything. So the entire data is deleted now and I will paste the new updated data with the scores of history and geography and paste it over here. So I close this again. And all I'll do is I'll copy this part. I'll run this entire snippet again. Basically, I will do it at one go. I'll delete the data and paste new data and uh, save it. So wb.save, it saves the Excel document and finally we are closing it. So I run this snippet. It has run. I will close this and I will now quickly open my Excel document again. And I should have that entire data, entire set of 30 records now. And it's taking time so okay so yeah i now have the entire data set i have 30 records over here and uh, i have the scores of english math science and also of history and geography in this entire data set now if i go back to the pivot table now you can see the data of english math and science but even though my uh, my original uh, excel sheet has data of history and geography the pivot table has not been refreshed now I can simply manually uh, refresh this particular pivot table by right clicking and uh, say selecting refresh but that is not my intention over here. There can be many many pivot tables and there can be a lot of uh, lot of graphs and all that are dependent. So I do not want to do this manually. Sim we want to uh, do the entire exercise in an automated fashion. We do not want to again open the excel sheet manually and refresh everything. So this is the part that I will do next. I will close this and automate and automatically refresh this pivot table using uh, Spider Python. So I go over here and I copy this particular snippet. So essentially what I'm doing over here is using win32com.tag I'm again loading my uh, data set that is marks one excel sheet and I'm refreshing all the pivot tables I'm saving it and closing uh, closing the excel document. So I'll just run this particular snippet and if I now open the excel sheet again So if I go to the pivot table now, so as you can see, the entire pivot table has been refreshed. We now have the data of history and geography as well. So that's it, uh, friends. Uh, I have uh, pasted the new, the extra data in this particular Excel sheet, and I have refreshed the pivot table all using Python. Nothing was manual in this particular exercise. Uh, I hope you uh, like this video, and if you do, then do press the like, share and the subscribe button. Thank you.